My name is Amanda Damon, and I'm a Homeworks by Precept consultant in Augusta, Maine. Today, we're going to be taking a look inside the book at World History, 5th edition. This course starts out with creation and goes up through present day. Your students will be taking a look specifically at Asia, Africa, and the pre-colonial Americas. They'll be studying government, religious influences, and much more from a biblical perspective. In your textbook kit, you will receive Teacher Edition Book 1 and 2, your student textbook, activity manual, your activity manual answer key, as well as tests and the test packet answer key. Let's take a look at your teacher's editions. Let's take a look at Book 1 of the teacher's edition. In the beginning, you will find the contents. This will list the different units that you will be doing with your student. We have the ancient world, advance of civilization, cultures of the world, transitions, the enlightened world, the European world, war and unrest, and the modern world. There are eight units. After the table of contents, you will have pages with different features of your world history book, along with tips to help with lesson scheduling and planning. In book one of the teacher's edition, you will have lesson plans for the first 71 lessons. Each lesson plan lists the lesson number, the teacher edition page numbers, the student edition page numbers, and the student activity page, as well as the different objectives and the biblical worldview for the lesson. At the beginning of each unit, you will have the different chapters that will be covered, as well as a timeline with the major events being covered. At the beginning of each chapter, the major topics being covered will be listed, as well as some big idea questions for your student to be on the lookout to answer. You also will have an overview of the chapter as well as the chapter goals for your student. Any suggested materials will be listed below. Along the bottom of your teacher's edition, you will have different notes to help you as you teach the course, as well as different ideas for activities. In this chapter, we're studying medieval times. Here's an idea for an activity about putting together a newspaper with different articles about government, church leadership, tax laws, and the plague. Along the sides of your text, you will also have some more background information to go along with what your student is reading in their textbook. At the end of each section, there will be section review questions in your student's textbook. The answers to these questions can be found at the bottom of your teacher's edition, along with the page numbers that your student can find the answer to each question. At the end of each chapter, there will be a chapter review. These answers are also located in your teacher's edition. The back of your teacher's edition has a glossary, with different terms found in the course, as well as an index if you're looking to find something specific. In Book 2 of the Teacher's Edition, you will find the remaining 64 lessons in the Lesson Plan Overview. Let's take a look at Unit 7, War and Unrest. In this unit, we will be covering the Great War, Discontent and Experimentation, and the Second World War. You'll see that you have your timeline going over the different topics that you will be discussing. We start with 1914 with World War I and end in 1943 with the Battle of Stalingrad. Unit 7 starts with Chapter 20. The big ideas here are what events led to World War I, how did World War I impact the participants, and what was significant about the post-war treaties? I recommend looking ahead at the unit you will be covering to see if there are any materials that you will need to gather ahead of time. For example, here for Section 2 in Unit 7, the film Sergeant York is suggested as a material. 
Again, we see at the end of this section, we have section review questions and our answers down below with the page number you can find the answer on. In the back of book two of the teacher's edition, you also have a glossary as well as an index. In your student's textbook, they will have a table of contents with all of their units, as well as the features of their book, like your teacher's edition. They will have instructions on how to use this book, such as the section reviews, chapter reviews, different charts and maps, highlights, dates, as well as a pronunciation guide. The beginning of each unit will list the chapters covered in the unit, as well as have a timeline of major events below. Here we can see that chapter one covers the foundations of world history. Their major themes they will be studying are the unit of world history, evolutionary prehistory, and the beginnings of world history. The big ideas for this chapter are how should a biblical worldview affect the way a believer interprets history? How does a secular view of origins differ from the biblical account? How do creation, fall, and redemption affect the development of civilization? Each section will have guiding questions for your student as they read through their text. You will also notice on some pages some extra text boxes on the side. These have interesting facts to go along with what your student is reading. At the end of each section, there are section review questions. The answers to these questions can be found in your teacher's edition, along with the page number the answer can be found on. At the end of each chapter, your student will have a chapter review making connections, developing history skills, thinking critically, and living in God's world. There is also a list of different people, places, and things for them to know. This can come in handy when they are studying for their chapter test. In the back of the student textbook, they will have a glossary of terms, as well as an index. In your student's activity manual, there will be a table of contents in the front listing the different units and activities for each chapter. The chapters consist of activities from three to six activities for your student. Different skills your student will work on are essay skills, map skills, and critical thinking. In your activities answer key, you will see that answers are written in red. Along the bottom of each activity's answer key page, you will see what skills are being covered for that specific activity. Well, that's it for world history. Thanks for joining me on this look inside the book. Happy learning.